Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf. Today we're having a look at how we can do keyboard remapping in Game Maker Studio, uh, including Game Maker Studio 2. Now there has been a couple ways people have done this. I think the traditional way of doing this is using variables. So you may have in a create event somewhere, uh, variables defined for each of your um, keys. So here we have an example where we're using the arrow keys and we're just assigning variables uh, up, down, left, right keys to those uh, VK key codes. Using this is pretty simple. You just use keyboard check uh, in a step event, for instance, or anywhere else in your game uh, on that variable rather than the key code directly. And what this means is that throughout your game, you can change those variables in order to remap your keys. So uh, throughout, if you wanna use the WASD keys instead of the arrow keys, you could change it such that uh, key up is equal to ORD W and so on. Now, uh, this has a couple issues, and that is that you have to start planning in advance. Uh, you have to use your variables throughout the game, um, and it's also limited to polling. That means you cannot use events. Uh, so you have to use keyboard check or keyboard check pressed and so on. That Both those things make it hard to retrofit an existing game with keyboard remapping. If you're already using events, you have to change it to using uh, input polling with keyboard check. And if you were using uh, just straight up key codes, you have to change them to variables. There's also the issue of alternate keys. You may want the player to be able to both use the arrow keys and the WASD keys, for instance. And here you would have to both have the key up and key down variables and also like alternate key up, alternate key down. And inside your step event here, you would have to change it to if keyboard check key up or keyboard check alternate up. And this kind of makes it a bit tricky. It makes your code harder to read and longer and so on. Thankfully, there is a solution which is given by GameMaker and that is keyboard set map. So let's have a look at a small example of using keyboard set map here. Uh, this one here is uh, remapping our WASD keys to our arrow keys. So as you can see, keyboard set map takes two arguments. The first one is the key code you want to change, uh, you want to remap. And the second one is the key code you want to map to. So as you can see in the first line, we remap the A key to the left key. And then we remap the D key to the right arrow key, W to the up arrow key, and S to the down arrow key. Now using those keyboard remappings is actually incredibly simple. You just use events or polling or whatever like you normally do. So in the example you see here, we're using uh, the keyboard events on left, up, right, and down in order to move our objects. And uh, if you were to run the game, you'll see that both the arrow keys and the WASD keys would work. If you would want only the WASD keys to work, it's actually a pretty simple thing to do. You just remap your arrow keys to something else. Uh, I would remap them to WASD, such that WASD now act as arrow keys and arrow keys act as WASD keys, which hopefully are not doing anything, or if they are, there is still a way to access those functionality throughout the arrow keys. Now, the advantages are that this is incredibly simple. Uh, as you can see, we're using just a, a simple function. You can remap keys throughout your game. It supports both events or polling, which means that, um, you know, if you were already using events, it would work just fine. If you prefer to use input polling with keyboard check, it would also work just fine with keyboard set map. Uh, both these things make it really easy to retrofit your project. So if your project was already using events, already using polling, or if it was already using key codes rather than variables, well, here you are. You can already, um, uh, you, can, you can really simply retrofit your project to use keyboard remapping using this simple function. It also makes it really easy to add alternate keys. Uh, as I already mentioned, the example I show here uh, already is really an alternate key system as both the arrow keys and the WASD keys will now uh, trigger the events. But as I mentioned, if you wanted to change that, such as true keyboard remapping, all you would have to do is remap the arrow keys as well. So let's have a look at how we can manipulate those keyboard mappings. First of all, we have keyboard set map, which we already had a look at. So it takes uh, two key codes and maps one to the other, uh, which is 
pretty straightforward. We then have keyboard get map, which is exactly what it sounds like it's doing. It returns the key that a single key is mapped to. So in the previous example, where we mapped the W key to the up arrow key, if we were to call keyboard get map on the W key, we would uh, have as a return value the up arrow key. And finally, we have keyboard unset map, which allows us to undo our keyboard mapping, which is really quite useful if you have, for instance, a keyboard input where the player may want to type in his name or something. You don't want the keyboard mappings to take to be taken into account. So you may want to unset all your key maps. And once the player is done, you can set the key maps again. For that reason, I recommend you store your maps and your key mappings in something else as well, like a map or a list or something, such that you can easily uh, unmap and remap your, your keys. So this is really it for this tutorial. As you can see, it is really quite simple to remap your keys in GameMaker Studio. There's no need for variables and whatnot, just this really simple function. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have, please give a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time for some more GameMaker tutorials.